uh, Dr. Anjan Shakia, ambassador of Nepal to Israel. She, she was a board member of Prime Ministerial Advisory Council for Promotion and Industry of Industry and Commerce. She was Deputy Executive Director of Institute of Foreign Affairs in Nepal. She did her PhD in management. Uh, Dr. Shakya was the chairperson of the Women Chamber of Commerce and executive member of Nepal Chamber of Commerce. She is the recipient of many national level awards like the Nepal Bidya Bhushan. And she is an ex excellent singer that today you cannot uh, experience. But if I'll give you a tip, if you do a Google search with her name, you will find clips of her songs. Thank you. Namaste. Shalom. Chohara Tovim. Good afternoon. Dear Anath. You are such a wonderful friend I have in Israel. Uh, and you are looking very beautiful, gorgeous, and your background, I love it most. <laughs> it looks like really Women Day we are celebrating today. Uh, excellencies, uh, respected, and dear all excellent, beautiful ladies, participants here with us now, and dear audience, happy International Women Day. I'm very much pleased for giving me opportunity to speak in this wonderful webinar. Today, I have six programs and I choose your program too, dear Anath, uh, in Zoom and in person. I have to join till uh, the late evening. I have many programs. Um, today, I would like to share uh, my role model. Uh, she is late Surya Devi Shakya. The meaning of her name is sun, which always gives light. She was like the light of the entire family. She was unmarried. Her soft heart and warm arms were always open to help and support others. She was the pillar of the family, especially for female members. She was not a popular celebrity of country, but she is much popular in our hearts, especially mine, I guess. But everyone does have same feelings for her. We all respect her, honor her due to her kindness to others. She is my lovely aunt. I have grown up with her immense love and care. When I was a kid, she used to drop me off at the school bus station and used to pick me up at the school. She always came with me wherever I needed to go. She used to offer delicious food and let us uh, eat first. In 1990, I learned cycling because of her encouragement. I learned swimming and some other sports due to her support. In those days, it was not easy for female in Nepal to ride bicycle or to swim for my generation also. Had not she been stood in front of me, I would not have got chance to learn swimming. We were not allowed to go for swimming, but because of her permission, my parents didn't oppose me. Here I could see the respect between sister and brother, my aunt my, and my father. My father always used to respect and listen to her. Her opinions and decisions used to be of high value in our family. She was very honest, simple, empathetic, and genuine. These qualities made her strong, bold, and respectable. I remember that she used to support me when I, was, I wanted to sing. Uh, at that time in 1991, the society didn't have a positive perspective towards singing as a career, especially for women. I wanted to change this stigma so that the future generation would get the opportunity to explore their potential in this field. I remember she used to stand nearby me while I was learning, recording or filming my song every time. So she is always an incredible persona for me. I have now more than 100 songs due to her blessings. Some are in YouTube as Anath already told you. However, they are old now as I took break from that field quite a long time back because due to, I have so many uh, affairs to do. So I didn't get time. I also remember she always used to come with me when I went for newscasting in the national television channel early in the morning, even at 5 a.m. This job was highly appreciated in the society and it was only possible because of her constant instance, stance beside me. She was always supportive for my higher education. Later, I started teaching profession as at the college and the university. I was involved in this chamber of commerce since 1995. It was almost 25 years back and she supported me a lot. 
while being the chairperson of women and international committee my decisions and my performance was inspired by her thoughts habits and culture later as a founder chairperson of nepal women chamber of commerce i gathered more than 100 uh, of women entrepreneurs from diverse fields and extended its chapters in many districts of nepal this i learned from her supportive nature friendliness and understanding quality as the deputy executive director of institute of foreign affairs under ministry of foreign affairs in 2006 and chairperson of international concern center i published books conducted workshops seminars con conferences etc i learned to be confident from her and got involved in social works too today i am here with you as an ambassador her dream was to see me at this position but uh, unfortunately she passed away before i became ambassador but still i have a feeling that my dear aunt is with me and uh, will always be with me she is still alive in our heart my eyes are now in uh, <laughs> filling with tear i'm remembering her you might have queried that if she was so bold why was she inactive to make her own career the reason is that at her ages women were not privileged and it was not simple task for females to get education and opportunities even my generation is very difficult at that time and those days are very tough for them they were made uh, dependent uh, on male members due to the patriarchal society only selected high class few female uh, females got opportunities it was far beyond expectation for her to achieve this though she didn't get education in school she always had craving to study even at the age of 56 however she was loaded with skills and talent that she could design and stitch dresses for us that used to be very perfect this was one of the skills i also learned from her i also learned to give donations from early age from her teachings as she used to you uh, as she also used to give donation to the organizations who did social works to contribute to the society today what I am is because of her support and love. She used to tell me I couldn't get chance to learn from school and get any opportunity in my life as I couldn't achieve them. I would like to give you all the opportunities that you want. This was her magic words for me and that I still remember it as fresh as it was yesterday. Whenever I thanked her for my success, she used to tell me what you have achieved is just is the result just of you only your efforts not due to me i am only encouraged and supported you to fulfill your dreams that you did sincerely she always helped others selflessly which gave her inner peace and self satisfaction i think this is meditation a part of following her footsteps i am also trying to help and respect others for my own inner peace and satisfaction which makes me contribute even more without expecting anything in return i would like to thank my mom's sister daughters and other friends in this uh, uh, important time today women are at the forefront in diverse fields even during covid times to save the lives of other people today only 22 countries of the world have women as their heads of state or government including nepal we also uh, do have a uh, higher position in nepal our president is first female president in nepal however we still need to put further efforts on creating a fair and equitable society which can be achieved with active participation of country society and family by constant encouragement and provision of equal opportunities rights and justice for me my aunt was an idol of true sense of women empowerment hence on this day i remember my dear aunt with lots of compassion and would like to express my intense gratitude towards her and want to send message to her ear that how much i love and miss her uh, and thank you all dear participants for listening to me here i would like to stop thank you anath